There we go. Hello, gents! You don't have to worry about me. For now, anyway. I am a friend. And I am going to take your ship! And let's go. She's a thank you. Schooner, That's not my name, but thank you. Trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to full, shall oh, we? Oh, great. Rogue winds. Is this a thing? Is this coming back? Probably. Crowd on every inch of sail. Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The Did I just see flying system. fish? Of possibility. I see it! I see it! There's flying fish! Oh my god, I love this game. I also love how sharp the boats turn now. Uh-oh. Don't hit that. We've really opened it up now, haven't we? <laughs> I guess so. I guess you could say that. We've already met Steve Bonnet. I'm so excited about this. I haven't met Edward Thatch yet. Blackbeard. Oh shit, Sandbank. Nope, we can't go that way. Let's We've slow down. Slow way down, buddy! I can't navigate this! Can I? Oh, I can. Okay, it ends over there. Good. Flamingos! <laughs> I love this game so much just because of the wildlife. I've seen turtles, I've seen flying fish, I've seen freaking flamingos! This is amazing. Oh, may, may have hit the sandbank a little bit there. I love the music. I don't want to speed up. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I have not done any kind of naval mission in AC for a long time. Because my Xbox profile kind of broke a little bit, as you may know, and I can't... I can't play AC3 on my profile anymore, and I haven't replayed it since it broke. I should. Here, we can speed up a little bit here. Okay, slow down for sharper turn. And speed up again. Alright. Smooth sailing to the objective now. There might have been an easier way to go about that, but I don't care. Oh my god! I love this game so much! I'm gonna swim with whales! You're a natural sailor, Duncan. Huh. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a great Dash one, my buttons! So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. Oh, the music. Are we getting the title screen here soon? I think we're getting a title screen. We're getting a title screen, aren't we? Fantastic work. Very promising. So, I just, I just now realized we didn't start in the Animus. I just now noticed that. Towards the light. Praise be the master, for he has led us to the light. Heroes aren't born, they're made. That is indeed true. I'm very curious to see how the present day works now. There's up to five hours of optional and required gameplay of like eavesdropping and hacking. Right. It's gonna be awesome. Easy now. There you go. Welcome oh, back. Oh, my head. Nice hair. Hi. Well, your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we can break your brain, all right? Are you, are you sure? My, <laughs> do my IQ numbers look good? I need you to move your head and look at these lights just here. Uh, Look up. Okay. I did. That's it. Down. Down. Beautiful flooring. So far, so good. Let's get you up. Okay. I'm getting up. So, welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before Sample 17? Sample 17! There you go. Subject 17 sample. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Hello. Bonjour. C'est bon? It works? What did you just put in my ear? One of those things from Star Trek, right. Wrath of Khan? Let's God, I hope not. Your file says you've done this some memory research weird. before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data well, thank you. I've had lots of practice. Stable. Whoa. 
Everything's so impressive, quiet. right? This yeah. building is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio Wales? for a few years since 2010. Really? How come I'm not hearing about it until now? That was back when Brotherhood came out, 2010. Maybe you saw Liberation. Weird to think about it that way. That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. I that did was not just see the tip it. Of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course, edited versions of real history, but only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature: Caribbean pirates. So that's your gig. Yes. It'll just take a minute, okay? All right, sure, no problem. I unfortunately did not play Revelations because I don't have a PS Vita. Well, thank you, Nancy. But in January, I think, me? when it comes out in HD for consoles, you can bet your ass I'll be doing a Let's Play on it. C'est bon, c'était prêt. Magnifique, merci. They're speaking French. This is for you. François. The primary tool of our trade, your communicator. Hmm, got a little PDA, cool. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. Okay, do I hit the back button? Back button, maybe. Oh. Back up. Back button. You might Whoa. Okay, cool. I have a map. I have a map in present day. This is just that security seems a little light around new. here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. Okay. Cool. Thank you. You can see the corner of it down there. That's cool. Get the fishies! Fishies! Can I feed the fish? Uh woman? Mademoiselle, can I feed le fish, please? No? Aw, okay. Ooh, this is cool. See that flashing wireless signal? I was just about to it mention means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. Sample 17, okay. I know what that means. We're using Desmond's sample DNA, and he was subject 17, so they're calling it Sample 17. That's, you ready? Uh, that's gotta be it. Let's I'm, go. Yeah, I'm ready, I guess. I'm worried to hear about what you guys did to him. I'm very worried. Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I think I'm hungry. Bonjour. Salut, Mélanie. Hi. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Bonjour. Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey, them. Connor. Edward. Edward the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, maybe. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Uh, Mélanie, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. Might be my first eavesdropping mission right there. Maybe. So, nice to meet this you. This is the sample 17 Person. Floor. I don't even remember what your the name was. to the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. He wasn't and hopefully a one day voluntary donor. I want to say that right now. I know what you're up to, there. bitch. I know what you're up to. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing. Calibrating. Same Calibrating, thing. right. <laughs> Nerds. So here we are. Your very own Animus workstation. Oh. This is all yours. Look at how much, how, back, how many figurines I can collect footage. around. I got some if work to do here. Or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. Oh, I know. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. All right, thank you very much. Oh my god. <laughs> If they want me to get back in the animus, but I won't undo that just yet. I'm gonna look around a bit. Look at there's Edward. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nineteen. What are those books down there? Can I crouch? Left bumper, crouch, bumpers, triggers. Can I run? I can. That's pretty cool. The future of gaming, backed by Animus Technology, Abstergo Entertainment, is poised to lead the future of gaming. Let's look back on our favorite releases. Liberation. Aveline de Grand Pré. That's how you even say it. I don't know. I like adding the on French things. It's fun. Prepare for the ultimate immersive experience with the Animus Training Program. Oh god, this is one of the coolest things ever. I already love this game so friggin' much. Watch this space for upcoming announcements. What is that? It looks like lava. It's kind of cool. All right, let's look around. Looks like they got a little kids station here. Is this a kids station? This is not a kids station. What am I saying? These little boxes look like a little kids station. Hello, who are you? 
Nice figurines. Look at what he's got. He's got all the multiplayer characters. He's got a blonde dude. Who the hell is that? Is that Steed? I can't even tell. There's Calico Jack. Ottawale, the la Lady Black or whatever, and that chick from multiplayer. Oh, that's not Ottawale, is it? That's the multiplayer character. I don't remember his name. Hello, can I talk to you? He's got his little Oculus Rift on. Okay, I'll leave him alone. Hi, can I talk to you guys? Hello. I want I want to interact with something. Hello, beautiful. Oh, Hello, beautiful. Wow, he's just decorating this whole place. Why do you guys have to speak languages? I don't understand. God dang it. Abstergo Industries unique animus technology allows us to do so about every day. Okay. Hi, can I talk to you? Yes, no, maybe so? I wanna do something. One very generous donor, Desmond Miles. Ooh, that made my blood boil when she said that. He's not a voluntary donor, you son of a bitch. Oh, look at the trophies this guy's got. Oh, they're the pretty much the same. Except for this guy. This guy's new. Can I have this? I would love to have this. I'm just looking around watching people. I guess this is how the Animus works now? Is this the Animus? Is this what I look like when I'm inside the Animus? I just have that little doohickey on my head? Because if so, that is pretty... That's a pretty big step forward from sitting in that gigantic chair. Or table in Abstergo's thingy-majig. In Abstergo's case. Alright, here's my desk. I know, because there's Mr. IT guy here. Can I please talk to you? A. B. No, it's not A. Y? Maybe? B? X? No? I can't talk to anybody. God dang it. I wish I could interact with people here. It looks like I just circled around the place. Unless... Let's go this way. That's the elevator I came up in. Let's go in here. Ooh, snacks. I wanna buy one. I can't do anything. Uh, maybe I can steadily get... Uh, do more and more stuff as this game goes on. Illegible notes. I don't have the clearance for these areas. Okay then, I guess we're just going back in the Animus. Let's just wander back to our desk. If I miss something, I'm gonna feel extremely stupid. But AC1 has taught me, wander around present day. Look for stuff, but see, all I've got is Edward. I just got here, okay? So, ha. Uh, what are my files? Employee passport. Your passport to success at Abstergo Entertainment. Let's go ahead and see what this says. Oh my god. Congratulations on making the bold step towards the best years of your career. Thank you. Abstergo Entertainment has a fresh outlook and a unique way of working. With so many possibilities for growth, it can be overwhelming at first. But we're here to help you get settled in and down to work. The work of following your dreams. I can read just fine, thanks. Inspiration strikes at unexpected times and unusual places. We got our start as the entertain entertainment division of a technology company, Abstergo Industries, where research into genetic memory, more on that later, led to captivating, enthralling surprises. Today, with a wide range of transmedia offerings, from games to books, films, and comics, we're more than just an entertainment company. We'd like to think of ourselves as a history company built on science. Now those are some good genes. Ha <laughs> ha, knee slapper. Warren Vedic. We change the world every day in a hundred different ways. He said that in the first game. 1937? Abstergo Industries is founded with the ambitious objective of making the best results of scientific progress available to humanity widely ex- I'm just gonna skip that. 1937? I didn't know they were around that long. Abstergo Industries is an early supporter of workers' unions. Our relationship with our employees is even closer and stronger today in all of our subsidiaries, including Abstergo Entertainment. 1940, recognizing its responsibility to create opportunity and stability for its people and all people, Abstergo Industries takes the role of global leader, aiding the establishment of the World Bank and NASA among many defining initiatives of the 20th century. Dude. 1978, wow, there's a big jump there. The first Animus device is created and the discipline of DNA memory research is born. 2009, another big jump. Wow. After 25 years of meticulous testing, DNA memory is ready for public consumption. Wait, what? Abstergo Industries launches a pilot entertainment division to produce experimental features for entertainment markets. I thought... 
Oh, never mind. I'm thinking of something else. Just kidding. That must have been in 2009 when Lucy was almost killed by those guys who came into her room. And then Vidic saved her life. That must have been in 2009. Because then the Animus was ready. Hmm. But I thought even then it still wasn't a part of the public face. Maybe I'm missing something. 2010, the prototypical Abstergo Indust Industries Entertainment Division issues its first release. Project Legacy. Aha! That's that uh, portable device game. What is it? What was it on? PSP? I forget, but I never played it. The social media phenomenon dazzles audience by allowing them to re relive genetic memories of historical figures and title down here. Oh no! Project Legacy is the Facebook thing, isn't it? I haven't done that either. I should. I've never been a fan of Facebook games, though. 2011, via its growing entertainment division, Abstergo Entertainment tests a new multiplayer simulation of historically inspired entertainment gyms. The experiment is embraced by a competitive new generation of gamers eager to outdo one another, unfortunately. In collaboration with major video game publisher Ubisoft, <laughs> Ubisoft exists in the Assassin's Creed universe. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. That's amazing how they added that. Good job, Ubisoft. That's awesome. Abstergo Entertainment's Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation is released, and for the first time, the public hears the story of Aveline de Grand Pré. De Grand Pré, I don't know how you say it. A fallen assassin who rediscovers the light with the help of the Templar Order. A modern classic is born. Oh wow, they cast her as an assassin in, in a negative light. Because they're not assassins here. Clever. 2013, ground is broken on Abstergo Entertainment's new headquarters in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Home to gourmet cuisine, major shows, great shopping, and a vibrant local culture, Montreal blends old world charm in with world, new world energy. <laughs> I can't talk. The perfect balance for our entertaining, historical, scientific, innovative company. You want to add any more adjectives in there? How about Templar? The present and beyond. You join our team. A star is born. The future looks brighter than ever. So much reading, but I want to read it all. Your role, we go out of our way to recruit the most talented people from all walks of life. Innovators, producers, good listeners who always seem to know what we need a moment before we do. You should feel at home in your Animus workstation to explore history with the thoroughness you crave. And we expect. Who knows, maybe you'll uncover a past technology to the benefit of future generations. First civilization, perhaps? From those who came before. Unearth evidence of a secret society, break a few codes, or make an astounding connection between mysterious documents. This could be the beginning of something beautiful, or shocking, or evo- I never know how to pronounce that word. Evocative? Or dangerous. It's all there in history, and the secrets of humanity are at your disposal, thanks to the genetic memories we put in your hands. At Abstergo Entertainment, we understand the power of knowing where you belong. That's why we've designed an ironclad hierarchy that leaves the, or that leaves the organization to us, so you can do what you do best, research and create to your heart's content. No need to worry about getting ahead. We'll take care of that for you. Constellation of teamwork. Uh, the, you've explored all the menus in your personal communicator and you can almost find your desk without checking the map. Just a few things to keep in mind to ensure your first week is a success. Hours. Your work hours are from 8.30 to 5.30. Okay, standard. But feel free to start as late as 10. What? That's flexible. Don't be surprised if you get so absorbed in history you sometimes forget to go home. Who says I'm not home? <laughs> but, uh, vacations. Everyone needs a breather once in a while. Your first week off will come after 3,000 hours in the Animus or a year at Abstergo Entertainment. Holy fuck. Whichever comes first, it's going to fly by. Benefits. We have the best life insurance plan in the business, and that's just the start. Food and common areas to find everything you need for a healthy, energized work life right at your fingertips. Check the a atrium for everything from fresh sushi to organic direct trade coffee. Yum. Your communicator will give you access to the areas you need. Abstergo Industries and Abstergo Entertainment recognizes the fundamental benefit to humanity of striving to include the best minds from around the world and across society. If you have ideas for reaching and engaging new contributors from underrepresented segments, you are encouraged to contact HR. You are free to trumpet your enthusiasm and loyalty to Abstergo Entertainment on social media. Heck, shout it from a rooftop if you need to. That's kind of creepy. Because they used to be so secretive. And now they're like, talk about us as much as you want. It's kind of creepy. But remember, okay, here we go. But remember, unless specified, the following information must not be shared. 
project details, their titles, launch dates, themes, character settings, and all other identifying traits, the physical layout of Abstergo Entertainment and Abstergo Industries campuses, and the makeup of teams, including immediate colleagues, supervisors, reports, and their project status, mentions of any technologies, partners, affiliates, retailers, wholesalers, and allusions to the details of sales reports or bonus structures must not be shared. That's a lot of stuff. Never mind what I said about them being so open. For the protection of marketing and media schedules and potential loss of data, employees are encouraged not to travel with work, but in cases where it cannot be avoided, are advised to use laptops, tablets, and communicators only in approved Abstergo hotels and meeting rooms, never in public or in unvetted spaces. Just kidding, what I said about them being so open. Wow. Benefits. Oh, I just read all this. Da 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 da. No one really knows how DNA memory works. Just kidding. It's a safe and well-documented process. Acquisition, extraction, exploration, editing. What some call animal instinct. Ah, oh, this is what he said to me at the very beginning of AC1. Said to Desmond, excuse me. Dr. Warren Vidic termed genetic memory. Locked within our DNA are records of our ancestors' lives. The Animus is a device that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. It's a window to the past that allows you to experience history but not change it. That happens later in editing. Once we were bound to explore only the genetic memories of our own ancestors, but today it's possible to research within the memories of any ancestor for whom Abstergo Entertainment holds a viable sample for extraction. They release this before the game. And with and all with negligible side effects. Note, genetic memory records for a given ancestor end at the moment of conception, when genetic material is passed on. Okay. And there's the building plan. All right. That was a lot of reading, but we got it done, and I'm happy I did it. So, I need to get back in the Animus, which is like right here. I need to sit in my chair. Sit the chair! Oh, god damn it. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, get out of the map. Get me in the Animus! There we go. Okay. I have to walk up to the screen. I'm going back in the Animus. Welcome to Animus Omega. Abstergo Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. Hi. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, please contact your project supervisor, Melanie LeMay. You have been registered that must have been the woman as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway, born March 10, 1693, Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neurotransmitters activated. Am I gonna have to go through a mandatory tutorial again? <laughs> Cause I don't like that at all. <laughs> I might want to though just for the hell of it. Cause it's my first time playing. Nope! No mandatory tutorial! Yay! Welcome to Havana. Oh it's so gorgeous! It's so beautiful! I have always been fascinated by cities with Spanish architecture. Just because it's so beautiful. Oh my god, that's even more beautiful! <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm in complete shock. I can't believe it's in my hands. It's in my Xbox. It's in my house. And the uh, music is beautiful. <laughs> lively Havana. <laughs> I've been here once before. It was a truly awful pleasure. Awful? Oh, come on. July 1715. Oh see someone you know no 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 just putting on a friendly face i shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again right oh Ash that's right that like did happen must be cautious yeah he didn't even look like a pirate and he's like i swear to god i'm not and they're like you're a pirate because you're among pirates <laughs> uh saving game it's so beautiful. I keep saying that, but I can't help it. Pirates beware. Well then. Nothing wrong, Duncan. No, it's nothing. Sand in my hampers. So where's the best squad in town? I'm dying for a quick. That's got to be uncomfortable. Or a siesta, should I say? Um, I'm just headed to a public house now to meet some merchants. I could, I could show you the way. Well, lead on. He's a good liar. <laughs> Not. I hope you'll tarry a bit while I conduct my meeting. It'd be a great relief to have a man of your stature nearby. In case of a misunderstanding, I can hang about. I might have a drink. Spend it. <laughs> drink. 
<laughs> drink! What's wrong with drinks? They don't take kindly to pirates here, do they? Wonder how many stolen reals bought these men this perch. That's a good point. Look at Steed leaving footprints in the sand! Oh my goodness. Hello, ladies. Looks like we got some courtesans. Hola, ladies. Don't know these women, do you? <laughs> he's, no. he's flirting as I walk by. That That's so amazing. A few dozen reals for every hour of knowing. Hi. Keen to meet them. Fine oh, fish. Goodness, no, I'm, I'm a married man. A married man of their forties. Excuse me. Giddy cat. Giddy, can I pet him? I can't. God dang it. All right, we got some Spanish guards over there. Aha, you can tell because they're in the yellow coats. Of personal defenses. I should acquire a blade for myself, Duncan, just as you have. This rusty razor is nothing to admire. Even so, I appear a mere kitten walking so close upon you. Perhaps a small dagger well, would suit me. Did you see? Did you see the cat that I just tried to pet? I saw too. We both jump rank. Oh, we'll be quite the pair, you and I. Twin devils. <laughs> Lend us a few reals, then. I did save your skin. Ah, uh, of course. Cheers. Thank you very much. All right. Buy a pair of swords. Dual cutlasses. We're going to sort sets. British cutlasses. Looks like that's yeah. That's all we can get. Are you sure? Why hell yes. Okay. That's a better fit for me. How do you fare? I had only enough for a small knife, sadly. Still. It'll do in a pinch. Oh, puff a duff. Puff a duff. I have led us astray, Duncan. Oh, no matter. I'll get us a better view. What are we looking for? Uh, a tavern with a sort of courtyard interior. Okay. So it looks like I gotta climb this somehow. I definitely can't climb it from in here. Let's go to the side. Oh. Uh, this looks like a good spot. Up we go. Wow, he climbs fast. I love it. Every finger's a fish hook. That's how you tell a true sailor. <laughs> Every finger's a fish hook. Oh, don't go so far, Edward. There you go. Down you go. There you go. Okay. Synchronize! Oh! The background music is different for viewpoints per city. We're not far. Uh, Hang tight. Excuse. What are we doing here, huh? Oh, come here. Or I'll break your knees when I catch you. Breaking your knees does not sound pleasant. Come here. Come here, you. Oh, okay, fine. You wanna, you wanna fight? You wanna fight? Come here! I want to take your money. <laughs> He's just gonna run? Yeah, you're hilarious. I didn't want to kill him because he was just a thief. You know what? Fine. I don't care. Die. You robbed the wrong man, mate. A fellow with dangerous friends. I didn't want to kill him. He was just a thief. Dang it. Oh well. Sorry. Excuse me, ladies. Where's Steed? Oh, he's over here. Okay. I, I didn't want to kill him, but I had to. Okay. Hello, Steed. Don't worry, he's just fine. Duncan! By Jove, you're alive! Of course I am. That filch was no fuss. Oh, yes. <laughs> ah, we've arrived. Rum for all! <laughs> Hello, gents. Look, he's always got a big smile on his face. He's kind of like me right now. Glad to meet no Welshman deep in Dago country. I'm English myself. In Dago country? Excuse me. The next war caused me to service. Lucky King George. I'm gonna piss pot like you flying his flag. Oi! Skulk! I've seen your face before. Use mates with them pirates down in Nassau. Oh shit, he knows who I am. Or I'll fill it with shots, you hear me? <laughs> Edward, is it? I didn't know. I didn't think he knew who I was. Well then. Hey, Steve, don't listen to these lies. My name is Ouch. My name is Duncan because I got blood up my nose. Uh -oh. Alright, fine. You throw in a fountain, you pay the price. You want a dust up? I'll give you one. Come on. Bring it. 
I died, 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 died. Fight me! I've seen bigger arms on a bird. That's funny. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to throw him. I want to attack him. Okay, now I'm going to have to, eh. Oh, bitch slap. How'd that make you feel? I wanted to do this in the first place. Oh, man, here. Oh, great. Oh, great. I got my work cut out for me. But I don't care. Uh, yeah. One more. Come on. Oh, job. Edward, we. Oh, nope, 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 nope. You I didn't do nothing. Me, I'll catch you up. Arrow, English. Oh, no. Select smoke bomb and then press Y to use it. Oh, I know. Smoke bombs work. Smoke bomb should have stayed here in single player, I just want to say. Okay, select smoke bomb and... HA! Catch me now, bitches! Alright. Now I'm out. <laughs> run away, run away, run away, run away. Oh, shit. Ah! Oh, shit! I didn't know they could do that! Excuse me, pardon me. That is definitely... That's definitely new. Jump, just get down. I need to find a place to hide. Actually, you know what? Just kidding. Roof parkour! We're going up to the roof to do some parkour! Assassin's Creed style! Yeah! Time to go, time to go, time to go, time to go. I need to find like a viewpoint or something. Not a viewpoint, but... Oh, there we go. There's one. Get down. Ugh. You can't find me, assholes! Mission complete. Lively Havana. I got 100% every single the first try. I'm so happy. Oh my god.